cannibalism in Hawaii. Sounds like a horror movie. And it is, if you happen to be a snail that's about to be eaten by your own kind. Actually, it's pretty horrible for the whole ecosystem. The cannibal snail is the likely suspect in the disappearance extinction of several species of Hawaii's famous singing snails. And that's just the beginning. From the depths of the sea to the island mountaintops, Hawaiians carved these islands into land divisions called Ahupua'a, each with all they needed to thrive. Let's explore the upcountry section of an Ahupua'a and find out what we can all do to help preserve Hawaii's environment. up here in Hawaii's native rainforest, there are plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth, and they are as fragile as they are beautiful. Aloha, I'm Dr. Dan Rubinoff from the University of Hawaii Manoa, and I'm here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Brendan Holland, who I call the Snail King, to talk a little bit about why we should all mourn the loss of a few slimy snail species. Brendan, why are snails important? Well, snails are important in Hawaii because we have many, many different species, some of which are very sensitive to environmental conditions. And so we can use the native Hawaiian snails as indicators of healthy forests. And why is a healthy forest important? Healthy forests have many functions, one of which is to capture and hold clean rainwater. And on an island like this, that's a really important thing, isn't it? Right, we don't have well-developed aquifers in the Hawaiian Islands, and so most of our drinking water comes from rainwater, which trickles down from the mountains to the lower elevations. And so a native forest holds it for longer and releases it slower so we can use it. It hasn't rained in about a week, and yet the ground here is still soaking wet. Yeah, look, there's standing water on the leaves. Yeah, this whole place is like a sponge. It just soaks up the water and holds it. Up here in the heart of the Hawaiian rainforest, moss covers everything. It carpets the ground, it covers the trunks of the trees all the way up to the top, and it acts like a sponge during heavy rain periods, soaking up the water so that there's no flooding, and then releasing it slowly so that we have a constant supply of fresh water. This is also an incredible place of diversity with lots of endemic plants and animals. Here you go, Dan, I found some. Wow, these are beautiful. Right, so we have maybe three different species. All of these are found only on the island of Oahu. So they're endemic to this island only. Wow. That horrible cannibal snail that we just saw eating, Hawaii's beautiful tree snails, that didn't get here by accident, did it, Brendan? No, Dan, it didn't. It was brought intentionally and released as a what's called a biocontrol effort in an attempt to eradicate another pest snail that was brought to Hawaii as a food item. And so they brought in this cannibal snail to try and control that, but instead it eats the native snails. It doesn't really exactly. help with controlling this pest snail, does it? No, it was a, a complete failure in its purpose and a lesson to all of us not to bring in non-native species to the islands of Hawaii. So what do we need to do to help save these nature reserves? Really all it takes is a few simple steps, such as brushing your boots before you enter a nature preserve when you're hiking. Um, boots can carry invasive seeds and eggs of invasive invertebrates. Never stray off the trail. Um, you can accidentally trample native plants as well as endanger yourself. Um, many trails in Hawaii have hidden or invisible cliffs that are covered by native foliage. And what about water? Can I drink water? Always bring water when you're hiking in Hawaii. Um, for your own health, you never want to drink water even if it looks nice in a stream. It's often contaminated with bacteria. So Brendan, we can learn that many different things just by studying one species of snail? Exactly, and the reason is ecosystems are complex, made of many different components. If we replace or displace one of these components, we can throw the whole system out of whack. And this is serious business because the rainforest section of the Ahupua'a traps the clouds and makes the rain that produces the fresh water we all depend on. So saving the rainforest isn't just about saving biodiversity, it's saving a resource that is essential to our own survival. Take the time to get out there, explore Hawaii and enjoy the natural beauty, but do it in a way that's safe and that helps conserve the natural biodiversity. 
future generations will thank you for it. Thank you for joining us, Brendan, and thank you for watching. Aloha. Aloha. To learn more about these unique islands and what you can do to protect them, visit hawaiistateparks.org.